The Museum of Aviation's Foundation National STEM Academy now has two new educational programs in Warner Robins. The educational based programs will be offered to students and educators in Georgia. 41 NBC's Jatrissa Wooten brings us more. The Museum of Aviation is a place that honors veterans and their families. It is also a place to educate our youth. Teachers love these new programs because it makes math and science so fun. Two new programs have come to the museum. One is the Cool Careers program, a part of Tinker Tech, which started in October. Cool Careers highlights potential career opportunities through fun and engaging reviews and occupations in Georgia. Georgia is hiring a lot of people in electricity, electricians, electronics engineers, and so we want to teach about circuits and make circuits fun. Ashley Harris, one of the museum's National STEM Academy instructors, says they want to make sure students 6th through 12th grade know they have options, especially those getting ready to graduate. There's different types of careers instead of the traditional teacher, uh, doctor, policeman, the ones that you normally stick with. So we wanted to find ways to give them different opportunities. Harris also says the program has a hands-on element to it. Science, technology, engineering, math are very important. And so we figured kids love doing hands-on stuff. They have a hard time staying still. So why not make a program to where they can explore everything. In addition to the museum's Tanker Tech program, they also offer a planetarium that you see behind me in which students can go inside and learn about the solar system. The Star Lab Portable Planetarium is a hands-on, fun way to learn about space exploration. The program accepts up to 90 students a day and is about one to two hours long depending on the group size. Both are free and are said to make learning a bit easier and more efficient. It's completely working. Um, the students, they're, they're making that connection. and. Of course, they think they're playing in sort of way, and sometimes with them not even thinking that they're learning, that's the best way for them to learn. With 32,000 visits each year by teachers and students, Spalding says they will strive to keep the program strong. 